Hello, and welcome to the Church of Fuck You. I'm St. Patrick. Well, I've done a video before called the Top 5 Reasons People Hate Christians. And while I really like what I said in there, um, the video is of such poor quality that I decided to do it again. And I figured, hell, if I'm going to do it again, I might as well add some more shit to the list. So now, it's the top 10 reasons people hate Christians. Are you ready? I'm going to try to keep this fast because I don't want to have like a 20 minute video. So, let's go. Number 10. Ridiculous proof. Now we've all seen people or talked to people who say the most ridiculous things as a way that their God, you know, as a proof that their God is real. They'll say shit like, well, who made the trees? Or, you know, who, who made the sun come up? Well, actually, the earth is rotating and by the time it gets to a certain point, it looks like the sun is rising. But in all actuality, the earth is rotating to the position for you to see the sun. Which brings me to number nine. They completely reject logic. Any logic that you can bring up as far as the, the Bible or Christianity or why there would or wouldn't be a God, they completely ignore it like it doesn't exist because all they have is their faith. It's so irritating to talk to anyone of faith and they completely throw logic out the window because how can you have any conversation without logic? Number eight, <clears throat> they insert God into every crisis. I don't care what it is. If it's a windy day, if it's an earthquake, it's a tornado, whatever. It's always, well, this is God doing it. Now, I'm not saying all Christians, now, let me throw that in there. I'm not saying all Christians on all these, but there are a huge portion of Christians that perform these acts, and it's fucking irritating. Stop throwing God into everything. It, it's not making people believe. It's just making people hate your version of God even more. Number seven, the double standards. It's amazing how they can do something, but you can't. You know, they can curse, but if you curse, oh, you're going to hell. If they curse, oh, well, I'm forgiven. Really, people? I mean, can we have just one flat-out line of whatever you're supposed to do and not do? Stop this double standard bullshit. Number six, they are extremely arrogant. It kills me to know in how Christians act like their life is so much better than yours because you have God. I'm sorry, because they have God. They act like they are 10 times better than you, even if they have nothing, even if they amount to nothing in life, they're just better than you because, you know, they have God. And they look down on people. And again, I'm not saying all, but some Christians actually look down on people because they have God and the other people don't. And they have this smug ass attitude like, <laughs> I'm better than you. From all of us to you, fuck you. Fuck you and your version of God that you believe in, okay? You're not better than anyone just because you le believe in some mystical creature in the sky. Number five, ignorant. There are so many Christians that have no idea what is going on in the world. But even worse, they have. there are so many Christians that have no idea what goes on in their own religion. It is... It is mind-boggling how so many people can believe in something but they know nothing about it they just know like four or five verses and that's it that's the extent of their religion is ignorance is bliss in that world number three they are completely intolerant now again i'm not saying all but there are some christians that are very intolerant and if you do it their way or you're going to hell you're a piece of shit person you will never amount to anything they put you down they treat you like shit because you they don't agree with your lifestyle. And my whole thing is live and let live. As long as I'm not hurting anybody, why, why would you care what I do? The same way with other people. If they're not hurting anybody, I don't care what they do. If some person likes to sit at home and look at goats butt naked in the shower, who, who the fuck cares besides goats? I mean, I, don't, I just don't understand how they are so in everyone's business and dictate everybody's life off their own choice of morale. Number two... Again, I'm sorry if I'm rushing, but like I said, I don't want this to be a long ass video. Number two, they don't even follow their own beliefs. Jesus say help the poor. They don't help the poor. Jesus say help the sick. Jesus say help the orphans. Jesus say, you know, do all these things to help people in life, and yet they do nothing. They sit in their, their houses and they just bash and put down everybody that comes across their path. And again, I want to keep reminding you, I'm not saying all Christians, but there are a lot of Christians that do this shit. They don't even follow what Jesus say, yet they want to go around and dictate and try to impose on everybody, like, everybody else's life to follow what he says. How about you try that shit first? How about you show us what a quote-unquote good person is supposed to be, and then maybe people will start following suit. But you being an asshole, you get no one to join your little organization being an asshole. 
Try following what Jesus said, perhaps. Number one reason, and this is, again, my personal one reason. They forced their religion on everybody. And that is so fucking irritating. Stop trying to impose your will in government, in schools, everywhere else. Stop trying to impose your will on what you feel the moral standard or the moral code should be. Because if we go off Christianity for, what, thousands of years of killing people, of raping people, of putting people as slaves, of, oh, can we even go to the Catholic Church and them raping children to, you know, bishops down in Georgia or whatever the hell he was, molest, you know, raping little boys or molesting little boys. I mean, do we even want to go there with the moral code as far as, like, who has the better code? Please stop enforcing or trying to enforce your bullshit-ass rules on the rest of the world. We don't want Jesus. We don't care what you feel like your Jesus is or does or whatever. Keep that shit to yourself. If we want to join the clique, we know how to get in. It's not that fucking hard because they let a lot of stupid people in. So please, keep it to yourself. All right, man, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. This is St. Patrick. I'll see you later.